the disease mucormycosis or black fungus which has spread like a wildfire in India over the last month. Here we have Dr. Mahesh Patsalge, an endocrinologist in Navi Mumbai, who will answer a few questions about the same. So doctor, what exactly is mucormycosis? Mucormycosis is the fungus disease basically. It comes from the family of mucorale. It is again called as zygomycosis also. It is not uncommon or unseen disease. Basically it was there, there since years together. And we all know that the fungus which is there around us, like it is available in the soil, it is available on the table, whichever the thing you just put on some time and you don't touch, then again that fungus grows and that is the same thing actually when it enters our body. And then when it causes some infection to our body, then it is called as mucormycosis. And that's the same thing which is called as black fungus also. Because when it enters from the nose, it enters in the sinuses, which is called as maxillary sinuses. And from that, it grows in the eyes and towards the teeth also. And sometimes it can have that blackish discoloration in the hard palate also. And that's the reason it is called as black fungus or mucormycosis. Okay, doctor. Doctor, why have uh, this disease has been has been existing for some time? So why has the number of cases spiked so suddenly during the second wave of this pandemic? Yeah. So basically, this is very important question according to me. We were seeing this mucormycosis very very less cases. Like say, you, I must have seen one or two cases in a year. But since COVID nineteen of second wave, we are pr probably seeing twenty five cases in last two to three months after COVID nineteen. There are some reasons behind that because COVID-19 is a virus which really attacks on your immune system. So it causes actually immune dysregulation. Number one. Number two, the people who are non-diabetic, they are getting converted to diabetic probably because of COVID infection or probably the steroid which we use during the COVID treatment that steroid induced diabetes also. And the patients who already known case of diabetes, they know about their diabetes their diabetes really jumping towards 500 and 600 figure probably in the hospital duration. So next question which comes like whether steroid is needed for COVID. Yes, steroid is really needed and it saves the life in COVID-19. So steroid induced diabetes and COVID induced diabetes really jumps up and that's the reason basically the insulin in our body actually reduces. So my basically point is when your body is reducing with the insulin level, so your body is having hyperglycemia that is high glucose and at the same time it switches on the fatty acid metabolism which is called as ketoacidosis. So this fungus really needs glucose also and acidotic medium in your body and that's the reason acidosis and hyperglycemia really work wonder for growth of this mucor. So that's the reason anyway it is available everywhere. So any patient who is discharged from the COVID-19, his sugar is very much high, his immune system is very much dysregulated, depressed and that's the reason our immune system doesn't actually reply or react towards the fungus as usual before in the same patient and that's the reason these patients are basically presenting many number of patients are coming with this black fungus or mucormycosis. Okay doctor. Doctor, what are the symptoms of this disease? How will a patient know if they have contracted it? Yeah, so basically one thing is very important. Whenever any patients of COVID-19 is discharged from the hospital, he need to see his sugar levels. If anybody's sugar levels are more than 300, these patients are probably are prone to get COVID-19, number one. Number two, many of the times what happens, patient comes out of the hospital and he is worried about his breathlessness, his cough, his fever and everything but nobody actually really checks about the sugar. So how these patients will have, they will have high sugar, they will have weakness, they will have increase in urination, they will have breathlessness sometimes. But the most important part about mucormycosis, this mucor really goes from your nose and it spreads in your sinuses. So there are multiple sinuses are there in the skull. So this maxillary sinus is very much been involved. So the fungus goes inside the uh, maxillary sinus, it grows there. So initially you will get stuffiness in the nose, nasal block. If it grows more, you will have a bleeding from the nose. As it grows more, so what happens? The plate between the maxillary sinus and the, the eyes disrupts. So you can get a headache, pain around the eyes, headache on the one side, headache on the face, the face pain. At the same time, if it grows down towards your teeth, so probably you can have the bleeding from the gums, you have teeth pain or tooth pain also can be there. And sometimes this actually disease can grow inside your lungs. So you'll have a breathlessness, you will have sneezing, you will have 
lot of cough you will have hemoptysis that is blood in the sputum also can come sometime it goes inside the gastrointestinal tract so you can have a loose motion so many many more but one of the important which we are seeing after covid 19 is rhino orbital cerebral and pulmonary that is rhino means the maxillary sinus involvement orbital involvement so you can have a blacking blackness around the eyes you can lose the vision actually because of this and sometime it can goes inside the cns or central nervous system you can have headache and probably that is a bad prognosis for the patient doctor how does a doctor diagnose this disease so basically this patients comes to us with the high blood sugar and when the clinical system wise which the symptoms i said you right now if they are fitting in a good way so what we do actually probably we do the ct pns ct scan mm-hmm. of the pns and the next investigation is we just send this patient to ent specialist he just take this small piece of the fungus and we grow on the koh media or media of uh, the culture media and we really know it is a mucormycosis okay doctor how can a patient be treated so this patient one of the important thing which i believe on this if you just ask me how this disease is whether it is better disease or bad disease it is very very bad disease than the covid 19 if you have say one 1000 patient one patient is dying because of covid but mm-hmm. if you have four patients with this mucormycosis one has to die because of this the prognosis is very bad so earliest you pick up the disease the outcome of the patient is very important so any patient who is suffering from the headache who is suffering from the eye pain who is suffering from the nasal block who is suffering from the hemoptysis that is the blood which is coming from the nose suffering from the this teeth tooth pain these patients should report to the doctors and doctor should immediately diagnose and after diagnosis the treatment is either you have to give antifungal drugs you have to admit the patient you have to control diabetes and you have to refer this patient to ent specialist and as far as possible uh there is debridement surgery or debulking surgery is there so sometime endoscopically from the nose or they really open this part of the maxilla and they remove the infection from the uh, face and that is what is the treatment is done okay doctor uh how can this disease be prevented so basically after treatment we know we have to control diabetes remove this and antifungal drug for month or two months or three months so how we have to prevent that is very very important question so i will advise the listener that whoever are discharging getting discharge from the covid 19 hospital they should check their sugar if sugars are abnormal they should really really should be depend upon their diabetologist or endocrinologist whom they are consulting go to them once treat diabetes very nicely that is one of the important thing next important thing we have to understand that as i told you that only high glucose is not so important but the ketoacidosis is also important so if your doctor is asking you to start insulin after post covid era then just welcome the doctor tell the doctor that yes we will continue insulin so if you continue insulin for 2 to 3 months after covid 19 probably you can prevent the this uh, mucormycosis or black fungus at the same time you have to keep your immunity very strong because it is again the disease which is spreading in the immune disorder patient like the patients with uh, cancers the patient with blood cancer the patient who already had organ donation or say transplant heart transplant or kidney transplant patient these patients are also been increased with with this cases of mucormycosis but for covid 19 i will tell you maintain diabetes control diabetes with insulin is the key feature of uh, this preventing covid 19 uh, this mucormycosis or black fungus